Hey guys, it's Jen. Happy Friday. So today I'm going to be reviewing this e.l.f. Earth and Ocean palette. I showed this in my Sunday haul and I think this one probably got the most votes for you guys asking me to show you some looks with it and just review the palette in general. So I'm actually bringing you six different looks today. I just could not stop playing with this palette. I only intended to do like a three looks, one palette kind of thing and I kept on seeing different combinations that I wanted to use. This palette is so beautiful. I cannot get over it. It's one of my favorite palettes in a long time and if something can get me excited about makeup then you know it's got to be good because we're just inundated with new makeup all the time and it's just overload after a while and everything starts to kind of seem the same but this is really unique so this is $14 it has 18 shades I got mine on the elf website but since I ordered it there I did also see it at my local Target so you could check there as well and the palette is kind of divided up into two nine pan palettes so over here you have like the ocean side which is all those really beautiful blues and then over here you have the earth side which is more earth tones and what I think I really love about this palette the most is that it's color but it's not bright color I'm not really a bright color person if you're new to my channel I usually wear neutrals most of the time and I've only gotten more into color a little bit more recently but I love that for the most part these colors are very muted with the exception of maybe these two blues right here which are a little bit brighter on the eyes but still not that bad so if you haven't tried these elf palettes before I think the formula is really good they have a few others that have already been existing for a while I really like those and enjoy them a lot personally I think the formula on this one is even better than those other ones I don't know if that's just me because I love the colors or if it really is a little bit better but I really didn't find any dud shades in this palette at all I thought they all performed beautifully the matte shades I mean they're not like super heavily pigmented mattes but I actually like that I like that I can build them up because I do have more of a fair skin tone so sometimes I you know if I want to use this green I like that I can just make it a, like a wash of green or I can build it up to more of an olive color if I want to. It's not going to come out exactly this color on my eyes right away though. And the shimmer shades are absolutely stunning. They are so rich, buttery, pigmented. One thing to note is I do think they apply better with a finger than they do with a brush. I mean, they do pick up with a brush, but they're not going to be as intense. So I definitely recommend just dipping your finger in there and patting them on the lid that way. I think they work beautifully. I also didn't feel like I needed to wet the shades at all, but you totally could do that and get a more intense look. But I thought they were pretty intense on their own as it is. So let's go ahead and get into some swatches and because this is a really large palette I'm not going to be able to fit it you know all the way down in one line on my arm so I'm going to have to do two separate rows and I thought I would just do the ocean row on the top and then the earth shades on the bottom so I'm going to be kind of skipping around a little bit if you get confused I'm just going to start over here with trenches and do the first swatch with that and then I'm going to hop over here to desert storm and then do that one so I'm going to go back and forth between the two sides as I go row by row but I will be saying the names of each shade so that you know exactly which ones they are. All right so first up we have the shade Trenches on the ocean side and then Desert Storm on the earth and then we have Underwater. This one is one of my favorites. So beautiful. And then Sahara. Then we have Can't Kelp It and Spruced Up. And then the second row we have Abyss and rock bottom. Next we have drip drip and gold rush. Then we have lagoon and sun yourself. And then we have siren and tundra and tundra. There's something really special about this shade. So I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a minute. Next we have Oasis and then Fuji Feels. And then last but not least we have Saltwater and Mojave Mami. All right, so here's the palette all laid out. As you can see, just absolutely gorgeous shades. I love the colors that they selected for this palette. And I do want to mention as well that shade Tundra. It's kind of like a transforming shade. It goes on a little bit sheer. It's a little bit on the chunkier side, but it is very soft and easy to pick up. 
and it's not a glitter it's definitely still a metallic shadow but it's loosely packed kind of like a glitter so you just have to be careful with fallout with the shade but oh my gosh I started playing with this and realized that it can pretty much change any shade in this palette into just like a super metallic version of itself so what I was doing is you know I would pop like let's say this shade that I'm wearing today on my lid and then I would put this on top and you could still see this color through it but it just made it like even more intense so I'll quickly show you some of the shades in this palette and I swatched the shade just by itself on one side of my hand and then on the other side with this tundra topper on it and you can see that it still kind of looks like the same color you can still see it through the topper but it just intensifies it so much and makes it look amazing on the eyes yet it's also not glitter and that's what I love about it too because I'm not really a glitter fan I don't usually like to walk out of the house wearing glitter on my eyes it's just not my thing but this one just gives that really shiny foiled effect and it looks beautiful over literally every shade in this palette so I love that too it's more of kind of a silvery shade so it's very neutral and it just it just works with everything even the browns I love it all right, so now let's go ahead and get into the six looks and just please keep in mind if you're new to my channel I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not the best at applying eyeshadow So if any of these look a little bit messy or unblended, I'm sorry about that But I really just wanted to show you guys what these look like on the eyes so that you could have some inspiration If you've already bought this palette or if you're thinking about buying it You can kind of figure out whether it's something that you might use or not All right, so for the first look I used this matte kind of periwinkle shade oasis in my crease and then I topped it with with siren on my lid and this one is the most gorgeous kind of bluish gray color if you're kind of afraid to wear blue on your eyes this is a great kind of first step towards that because it really doesn't look all that blue it just looks so beautiful and then I just pop this shade salt water right in the center of my lid it's like the most beautiful iridescent light blue so here's just a close-up of the look and I'm also going to insert a little box with these three shades swatched so you can see what they look like grouped together and like I said I think this look is just a really beautiful subtle way to wear blue so then for the second look I went a little bit more dramatic and I took from both sides of the palette so first I used Mojave mommy in the crease and then I used this one underwater this beautiful deep turquoise on my lid so I'm going to go ahead and show you that look really quick this is the one I feel like I kind of made it a little bit messy at the top I tend to do that with dark colors I have a hard time blending them especially because I have hooded eyes but I was also kind of rushing so I feel like maybe if I just took my time it would come out a little bit better and if you're better at eyeshadow application than I am I think you can make an absolutely gorgeous look with this shade I think it's so beautiful and again I love that it's dramatic it's a little bit colorful but it's nothing too crazy or too bright all right so then for the third look I went straight across the top of the earth side of the palette so I started with desert storm in my crease then I put spruced up all over my lid which is this gorgeous matte green and then I topped that with Sahara and here's what it looked like this one came out so good I really love greens lately and I'm so glad that I've been kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit because I get compliments every time I wear it actually when I did this look the other day I went out somewhere and I had a couple people say like when I was checking out at different stores like wow I really love your eyeshadow and I almost never have that happen so that was really cool Anyway, the next two looks are going to be more neutral looks um, with some of these neutrals down here. So for the first one, again, I use Mojave Mommy in the crease and then Rock Bottom on my eyelid. And this one, I feel like it didn't come out on camera as good as it looked in real life because this Rock Bottom shade is really beautiful. It's just like a nice shimmery, kind of almost like olivey gray. It has a little hint of green to it, um, but for some reason, my camera just isn't picking it up. So in real life, this look looked really good. You have to trust me on that one. But I don't know. I feel like my camera has an easier time picking up bolder colors than it does just neutrals. Sometimes when I wear neutrals, it looks like I'm not even wearing makeup on camera. So I still haven't mastered that skill yet. But anyway, the next one is basically just like kind of a deeper version of that. I also, again, used the shade Mojave Mommy in the crease, and then I topped it with Fuji Feels instead, which is this really beautiful deep bronze shade. And I really love this one too. If you wanna go for a little bit more of a smoky look, but you don't wanna go for color or anything too bright, I love this because it's just like a really soft kind of smoky bronze bronze look. And then for the sixth look, I went in again with Mojave Mommy. This one is just like the perfect crease color, so I keep grabbing this one. Um, so I used that first, and then I used Spruced Up in the outer corner, and then this Gold Rush shade right here on the inner corner to the middle of my lid. And then right in the center, I just put the shade Sun Yourself, just right in the middle to make it pop a little bit. So here's that look. 
I don't really wear yellow eyeshadows that often because I feel like they don't really go with my skin tone. I have more of like a pink undertone and I feel like yellows look better on people who have like a tan or a little bit more of a warmer complexion, but I'm not totally hating this look. I don't think I would wear the yellows that often, but I did want to show you guys at least what it looked like on the eyes. Alright, so that's everything. I hope I gave you guys some inspiration and ideas using the new e.l.f. Earth and Ocean palette. I would love to hear from you down below if you've purchased this already and how you're liking it. And if you haven't, are you planning to buy it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you'll get notified of future videos right in your subscription feed. And also, if you like videos like this with multiple looks, definitely give this a thumbs up button so that I know you liked it and I can do more of them. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.